folks. I don't want to alarm you. But currently, YouTube is down. I was trying to watch videos. And nothing would come up. And I was struggling to even bring up uh, where you could click on videos. But then it wouldn't be able to play them. So right now, YouTube is down. Moment of silence. Anyways, welcome back to another episode of Let's Have a Pint. Today, we have Boo Lou from Boulevard Brewing Company. It is a fruit beer. It is 5.5% alcohol by volume, 10 IBUs. It gets an average rating of 3.71 on untap. It is out of Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, so... This beer is a collaboration between Boulevard and Tech Nine. Yeah. Uh, both are from Kansas City. Sorry, I'm burping. I just had a hard boiled egg. <clears throat> Love hard boiled eggs. It's my favorite way to have eggs. Uh, the description on Untapped reads In 1989, Boulevard Brewing Company released its first beer. Shortly thereafter, Tech Nine began his music career. In the years since, both have flourished beyond their wildest dreams, becoming beloved institutions in their shared hometown of Kansas City and parts well beyond. This, then, was the collaboration that was meant to be. One of Boulevard's most popular brews hooks up with one of Tech Nine's best-loved tunes to give birth to a badass wheat beer bursting with pineapple and coconut. Dwam! Uh, so, the song they are talking about in this, for this, is Tech Nine's Caribou Lou. And I play it, or at least part of it, but I'm not sure if I get hit with copyright. Uh, Strange Music is an independent label, and Tech Nine has a huge amount of sway in the company. I don't feel like Tech Nine would be bothered by it, but I don't know. So I will not be playing any part of the song. Besides, you can just go to YouTube, type in Tech Nine, uh, Caribou Lou. It is probably his biggest song he has ever created. And let's show you up close this can. That would be Tech Nine. He always wears face paints at his shows. Yes? Do, do you have input, little lady? Huh? Do you have input, little lady? Do, do you? Ah. Oh, why you don't like that, little lady? You don't like it? Huh? Huh? What is she going to do? Because you know better. Huh? What is she going to do? You know better. She almost swatted at me, but she was like, no. I know better than to do that to daddy. Alright. So, this came out originally, I think it was, uh... July or August. It only got released down in Kansas City. Fast forward to early October and they're doing a second release of it. This one gets pushed out to other markets. Omaha was one of them. Uh, I don't know if it was just Omaha and Kansas City or if maybe like St. Louis was in on it. But I don't think it really was any further out than that. Uh, however, early October, I went to get it when every place announced they had it. And I found it nowhere. Today, I go out looking for a new Schnifter glass because... I promise it doesn't happen too every, every few months like it's been. 
But as it turns out, I am in the, uh, I am on the market for, a sh I was, I was on the market for a Schnifter glass. Uh, I didn't know until a couple nights ago. Who knew? I didn't know until a couple nights ago. But, actually it was last night. Here's the bullshit. <laughs> Poured my very last, uh, Luna. It was my very last Wasash. Uh, black -a lantern into my schnifter. I take a sip, enjoy it, sitting back, relaxing. I go to reach to grab it, I lift it, take a sip, go to set it down, and it slips. I grab it, but it already hit when I grabbed it, and it let me know that it was done. Uh, so I was sad and junk. I had to clean up that mess of a f beautiful full beer all over the table. Then I, uh, then I thought, Luna, I'll have, what the hell did I have? I don't remember what I had. It, it was a lighter beer. Was it a pumpkin? Yeah, it was uh, my last Nebraska wick for brains. And I was enjoying that, and it went whoop. Fell right over. I tipped it. Touched it. You know, you touch a beer glass, and it goes boom. It actually doesn't happen that often. But I was like, what the fuck? Twice in one night, I spill a beer, and I haven't spilled a beer in... Over a year and twice in one goddamn night. I'm cursed right now. But at least I was only a little bit. But I'll tell you what. Uh, this has to be really, really good. Because otherwise I will straight up tell you it is not worth it. Now... Uh, the hy V store I go to most of the time. They told, that's where I found it. It was the last four pack they had. Uh, they told me, uh, that it should be coming out again next year. That Boulevard has said they'll, they're going to do it again next year. But seeing that it was them and not one of the other places, granted, none of, none of the, I didn't buy it at another place. No, no, nobody else has told me that. I'm taking it with a grain of salt because they already don't do shit right. Like, 120 minute IPA. When it came out, every place around Omaha, this was uh, back in February, March. No, it was April or May when it came out. Every place around town was told, it comes four pack, sell it as singles. They got a case in, sold it as four packs. They were like, oh, nobody ever told us to sell it as singles. They're not that great of a place. They just happen to be between here and where I work. So that's where I stop. <laughs> Although I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking I might just go to the Casual Pint, which is a bar, but... It also has a nice selection of beer, and I mean a nice selection of beer. You're not going to get your full array of Sam Adams or your full array of this or that. <clears throat> but when you're into beer, what they're not going to have is what you've had, if that makes sense. Alright, anyway, there's actually not much of a head for this. It is cloudy. This thing is cloudy. Ten minutes into the video, I haven't even sipped it yet. Oh, I really get that pineapple on the nose. And a little bit of coconut. That's different. That is really good.
So definitely on the end, I'm getting a lot of pineapple. I'm front, I'm getting more of the coconut. And in the middle, it's still the coconut. And, you know, the, so we come into the beer. The coconut flavors here come to the middle of the palate. It, it drops down a little bit. And then with the pineapple, it just rises. Like, you really get the pi pineapple after the liquid is in your stomach. And I love, oh, I, I cannot tell you how much I love pineapple. I hated it as a kid. Fun fact, as a kid, I was incredibly picky. You know what I would eat? I could listen for you right now. There's not a lot. I would eat green beans, but out of a can. I would eat peas, but out of a can. <laughs> I'd eat hot dogs, mac and cheese. Uh... There was hot dogs, mac and cheese. I don't think there's much else because I wouldn't eat hot uh, hamburgers. Very rarely would I eat hamburgers. Uh, I think it was really mo mostly hot dogs, mac and cheese, spaghetti. That was about it. There was not much else. Which you would typically think uh, for kids loving. That was a about all I'd eat. Now, oh, I, and even when I was 20, I hated pineapple and I hated coconut. At that time, I hated coffee. A few years later, I loved coffee. Uh, a few years after that, pineapple and coconut come in. It shows your taste change over time, but my parents always joked when I was a kid, I ate five things. <laughs> there were five, five solids I would ingest, and that was it. I was picky with candy, all of that. Jesus Christ, that almost became three. You know, as I became a teenager, it became a few more things I would eat. Chicken sandwiches came into play. Uh, but yeah, now, there's not a whole lot I won't eat. I don't even know how the hell I got, oh, I got on this because of the pineapple and the coconut. How I just love those now, and I absolutely do. I love pineapple and I love coconut. I don't, I can't have coconut because I hate coconut. I love coconut, but I hate it. I love the taste, hate the texture. But yeah, it's coconut up front, coconut in the middle, pineapple on the end, and it's just a huge burst of pineapple. It's not really bursting with coconut. Ah, the pineapple is there all the way through, but it's subtle. It's it's just shy of being as, uh, there being just as much co uh, pineapple flavor as coconut until the end when the coconut disappears and it bursts, the pineapple bursts open. It's, it's a very, it's a very good one. I, I really like this. By the way, what you hear in the background, that's all my son. It's my little white boy. Uh, would I get this again? I kind of want to get it another four pack before it disappears. Because, like, like I said, when I went out to uh, go find a Schnifter, well, I stopped there on my way home. They had the one four-pack, so I bought that. They didn't have to have a Schnifter glass. Don't think they had any beer glasses whatsoever. 
Um, and then I started thinking, you know what? Uh, rush hour traffic is just about to be go uh, done. I can yeah, I can go to Crescent Moon, which is about ninety blocks away. <clears throat> so drove all the way down there. They have maybe half the glassware section selection they used to, <clears throat> which is like three shells. And the only other thing I want besides uh, replacing that Schnifter glass, I mean, I want an, uh, an oversized wine glass again. But I, I keep see, seeing people with the stemless glasses, and they look so neat, and I want one of those. Uh, that's the only other thing I, ha I would buy, but they didn't have any of that stuff. Uh, so I was like, all right, so on the way home, there's a different high V from where it was. And they actually are much better about beer. Try there. They had uh, pint glasses and wheat beer glasses, and that was it. So I was going to give up, and then I thought, you know what? Fuck it. Casual pints a mile away. Let's go check it out. Because I know they have a small selection of glassware. Maybe they have one. They did have one that's about a 9 ounce draw. Or a 9 ounce fill. For 6 bucks. Perfect. Best I was seeing on Amazon was $10. Granted it was a full, you know, 12 ounce pour, but... It don't need to be just fine with a nine ounce pour. Uh, so I met a friend there because I thought the hell with it. I got a little extra money. Uh, we can have a couple beers. So we did, and I got the pint glass. Now I'm back here drinking one of the best beers I've had in a long time. See, I kind of want to rate it five stars, but I don't rate much five stars. You know what? It's not going to get that because I would like to have a little more coconut flavor out of this. Like, how it's bursting with pineapple, I'd love it to be bursting with coconut. It has a good amount of coconut, but it's not a great amount of coconut. Uh, I might get this again here in a couple days. It might be next year if it comes back out. Uh, Kansas City made. Or made in Kansas City. Uh, what I get, uh, so yeah, that's for what I get it in. It was a fourteen ninety nine six pack, or four pack. So it's by no means cheap. With tax around here, it ended up being sixteen dollars and like a couple cents. Uh, yeah, it's pineapple all the way through, with an underline of coconut. The front and the middle. The, the more I drink it, that's what I'm getting. Uh, this is hard writing. Because I kind of do want to do five just because I love pineapple so much, but I know I shouldn't. And it actually has so much pineapple flavor. I cannot believe how much pineapple is in this. Uh, but I have to go 4.75. It is so close to that perfect rating. This is one of the best beers I've had. And when they need to do this, they need to get out. They need to brew a bunch of this shit in their big 
tanks because they have some huge ass tanks at Boulevard. Listen, Boulevard. Do a couple tanks of this shit. Two or three tanks of this at least. At least. I don't know what the equation is between, you know, if you'd brew five batches in your big tanks versus how much that would end up being out in the markets. Enough where Omaha has it, would have it for at least four months. And it needs to come out in April and be available all summer because that pineapple is perfect for that hot weather. It is absolutely perfect for that hot water. What I would like to see is a little more of that coconut shine through. And then it's a little bit better for that fall season. But still perfect for that summer season. Uh, that's all I got for this one. This one's been going on way too long. Till next time, Prost.